before you can do a leather carving like the one you see here on the checkbook, you will need to transfer an outline of the design to the leather. Here is how we do that. To transfer uh, a pattern to leather, you need several things. One, you need the original tracing pattern, and it helps also have a tooling pattern that shows you where to do your stamping. Of course, you'll need a pencil, a tracing stylus, and the leather that you're going to transfer it to. Now that we know the exact size of our project, we can carefully place it over the tracing or the uh, tracing pattern and with some tape, lightly tape it to one side only. Now we can begin tracing. With the pencil, trace all of the solid lines that you see on the pattern. Follow them carefully because this is the lines we're going to use to cut with our swivel knife. After you're uh, about finished, you can now lift the film up to make sure you got everything. And it looks like I missed a few lines right here, so I could go back and get those. That's the main reason for taping it in place. And now it appears that we have all the lines. We're now ready to transfer it to the leather. Now it's time to dampen our leather and you'll notice I'm using just a clean sponge and water and it, it soaks right in. So we'll get it uh, fairly well covered with water and then we'll set it aside and let it return to its natural color then we can start our tracing. Please note that I have taped the tracing pattern now with, that's on the film to the leather from the back side. This is also so I can lift it up and check as I'm tracing. So I'll begin tracing now. Run your first line and then pick it up and take a look. Yes, we got a nice clear line. It's not necessary to trace real deep. Only deep enough so that you can see it. If your water content of the leather is right, then you should get a nice impression without having to go real deep. So from time to time, pick it up, check your process or your progress. Okay, let's take a look. Well, it looks like I've got it completely traced and notice now how easy it is to follow because we've had the moisture content of the leather just right and we used the right pressure to get a nice clear impression. Well, you're now ready to start cutting with your swivel knife. Good luck with your leather carving project.